Yes. Not not. White. Catherine's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. You know how their spoke are all. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Oh, this ought to be good. What does he mean to offer in exchange for his no-account life? True enough, I got bodies piling up, drawing attention where they ought not to be. But if I take the factory, I don't need Clive to dispense of my messes. Can appoint someone to handle it myself. Point taken. Good help is hard to come by. Plus, Clive doesn't seem the type to upchuck his boards during dismemberment. Still, you're asking me to walk away from easy money. So we're a lot of things in life, and your point is? All right, color me convinced. Reckon I owe you a finder's fee. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here. I take it you don't have a reservation. No matter. I keep a suite of VIP rooms for visitors of your... Let's call it a certain means. The VIP rooms charge by the night. But for you, I'll make it a one-time fee. Got a feeling you'll make me a fine investment. Marvelous. Do take care of the place. Maid service won't clean after a murder.
of Hiram's home. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut-shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs, and our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right, first things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm gonna need to know what your role in your organization is. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder, what are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume? Well, that's all well and good, but the reason you've come is secondary to the arbitration at hand. Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. Don't we, as a standing policy, provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm, but I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. Can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. All right. Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say he's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Just, I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. Anything else you need? Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know, our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later, once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man, founder, president, and CEO. Bertie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although... 
He should have been back. Going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawled back out. Done. Use this. Signal's locked to Birdie's tracker. Should lead you right to him. Or his body. Whatever you find. Bring him back to us, okay? Watch where you're stepping, stranger. You lose a leg. I gotta file the incident report. What was it like in Edgewater? I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but that still sounds awful. At least Sanjar gives his folks weekends. Weekends? Hands of the void. I used to drop by the bar in Stellar Bay to knock a few back with the folks who had Saturdays off. Don't know what I'd have done with that much time. I was always behind schedule anyhow. Knowing you, you'd sit and be alone with your thoughts. Stalking, and we're stalking.
Don't die! Don't die!
That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And better be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh law, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Means they're still holding the post then. Good. You might head on back. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. We were hired to do so, why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the Broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns. 
including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. You drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive until the payment's cleared. We recommended the client safeguard himself, so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostels on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. There you are. Boss man said you'd be up this way. I always wanted to poke through a... Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. You're A-OK, -okay, stranger. Hear that, Hudson? It's payday. What? Huh? 
Something's not right. What was that? Processing. Searching oh, for. Here Waste of company. <laughs> Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... he speaks easy. not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't? We'll see about that. Huh?
Here's the elevator, but I ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward, look for another way up. by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. Aside from you. Oh, now they'll take action. It's about time, I tell you. I'm up to my neck and marauders in here, which, by the by, they were supposed to prevent. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Aside from the bits I'll be paying you, you said you wanted something from me. Something information related. I'll give it to you, in person, once I'm safe. Light him on fire! 
out, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents! Oh, something is not Get right. Huh? Here they come! Get out! That's one now! Oh, it's not right. I just heard a run! That's the last of them, I think.